Welcome back to The Helpful Home. I'm Sunday Dawn, and on today's Tiny Tidy Tuesday, it's Inception. We're doing Inception vlogging because um, this is exactly what I looked like in yesterday's video, which it's not normal for me to upload a Monday video. If you're not new here, you know that. I joined in on Joy's Declutter Monthly Challenge, Organized with Joy. I will leave a link to her channel also since we're speaking of her lovely playlist, which was so much fun. And for that playlist, I decluttered some photos. It was really scary and hard, and I did it. But now I'm just filming an intro. This is out of order. So I'm filming an intro for what you're about to see, which is I decluttered those photos. I did it, spoiler alert. So we will, we will show you the process now. And as I said yesterday, if you're coming back tomorrow, I'll give you more of a tour of that album because we also, along with having to pare down some photos to complete this Project Life slash scrapbook album, I hate that word scrapbooker. I, I have to pare down to complete that job. But also, in my existing album that is already completed, I have a few little pockets of things that need dealt with, little pictures that I want to blow up to 12 by 12, or photos I want to crop the other direction. So there's some post-its in there, and we're going to deal with those today so this album can get for real done. That's my tiny tidy. Also, Tiny Tidy Tuesday is an open playlist collaboration, so please click on the link in the description box below to watch all the other ladies' wonderful, motivational, inspirational content. And don't forget to let us know what we inspired you to Tiny Tidy today. Oh, I forgot to say on this video, because it's, ex it's an extension of yesterday's video, but I'm sick. It's a sick day. We're tiny tidying on a sick day from bed, because that's what we do around here sometimes. It's okay. You can still get stuff done sick. That's your encouragement of the day. Okay, so here is what I'm about to deal with, is this pile of already organized and sorted into sections, it's just too many photos. It's just too many photos. If you weren't here yesterday, I will show you the situation, but it's too many photos. Now I'm going to pare this down, I want to say by 90%. I just, this album needs to be completed, not perfect. I'm going to let my perfectionism go and I'm just going to save the photos I love and must have and I'll probably do away with a lot of the ambience photos. Not all of them, but a lot of them. Now, let's show you what we are finishing. So this is album two of a Make-A-Wish trip to Disney World that my daughter got after her kidney surgery when she was 16. They're both married. They both have children. This album has been almost finished for nine years. Yeah, I said it, nine years. And so I know a lot of you see my crazy photo organization, insert photo of said crazy photo organization because I'm a little loony about it. Okay, so you've seen the lunacy. Um, I am always trying to remind people, especially on our Photo Club Friday, videos that like it doesn't mean it's all perfect and it's all done everybody has pockets of disorganization especially where photos are concerned so even though like this year of photos is complete from 2015 and all the other years are complete from our whole life um it doesn't mean there wasn't a vacation that i just like couldn't figure out how to finish because the first well the first one filled all the way up like but busting and i didn't want to have two albums i finally had to just give that up and decide i'd rather have it completed than not have two albums. So this is the start of the Epcot album. And the other album is the Magic Kingdom and the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Now, a Make-A-Wish trip is pretty darn fantastical. So we took a lot of pictures. Um, most of the pages are complete. There's a couple that look like this, and we're going to deal with that today, too. I can't prove to you I'm dealing with that till the Photo Club Friday video in a couple of weeks where I film the finish. Um, but like before I sort and declutter that pile of photos, I'm going to go through and put these into my Walgreens order. So like I will scan this photo, add it in a 12 by 12 on my Walgreens order. I know that this one needs cropped. I want it here. I want it the other direction. I can easily manage that. So anything like this where I have a post-it. And I know that needs finished. We're going to complete those today for part of our tiny tidy. Oh, what a good tiny tidy this is going to feel like. And we're going to declutter a massive amount of these so that for our next Photo Club Friday, we can complete album number two. Oh, if you weren't here yesterday, 
I decluttered my, the last of my cookbooks and some hair. Yeah, that's hair. Those aren't gerbils. That's hair. You know, we keep it real here. I did say I would give you more of a proper flip through. I'm going to be fast about it, but I won't hit all the pages, but more of a flip through to show my process, which I am a project lifer. These are traditional project life pages, which I love because you can fit in things like your boarding passes and maps um, of places you're going and journaling cards, which you can still do. That was our beautiful hotel. They left Madeline a gluten-free, dairy-free, egg-free red velvet cake, which was her favorite. She's a pianist. That was waiting for us at the hotel when we got there. Did a fun little spread because our hotel carpet, it wasn't the same. And obviously I know the pattern of the Overlook hotel carpet, but it was the same colors and it just had so the same vibe. We got up there and we were all like, this hotel feels spooky. And it's because it looked like the Overlook Hotel from The Shining. So room for that type of thing. And then literally just documenting and journaling. See, family train station horizontal four by six. I have easy access to that. In fact, all of these photos, oh, I don't even need to scan anything. These are still in Walgreens. I saw them the other day. So they're still in an album at Walgreens. So I will have that made. And yeah, we'll just, we'll do a little flip through. I am embarrassed to say, but I admitted it yesterday, so I will admit it today. This is one day at the Magic Kingdom. Now we had never done the Magic Kingdom before because um, we were big Disneyland snobs and we really didn't want to go to Disney World. That being said, a Make-A-Wish trip to Disney World, pretty magical. And also we love Disney, so we did love it. After all that, we did just love it. And hubby surprised me with an anniversary trip there, just he and I, just a few years after this when the girls were married. So we've now been a couple of times. We do love it. We are still Disneyland loyal. Disneyland proper is our home and we are still loyal. Point being, this is all one day and yes I'm present I stay very present while I photograph this is actually not on a phone at all this is with my big beautiful Canon and yeah it wasn't it's I still work to stay present while I photograph this is the kind of thing I'm not going to do that's why I'm paring those down I do love this spread and I wouldn't change it for the world but it's just of the park I love to shoot the park in fact I have started a coffee table book of my photography of the park, mostly my black and white film camera. I had two trips of black and white film shoots of just the park where hubby watched our young children and I just went and shot the park. I just need to put those into a page and I have those page protectors. But yes, I need to finish up these little things and I'm just gonna give up some of those beauty spreads of the park. Oh, Epcot was beautiful. It was fun to photograph. It was not our favorite park. It's still not our favorite park. Okay, that needs done. I guess we're giving you a little flip through and hunting for projects. So, oh, and I have not journaled on these little, those were put in after. So I need to clean up my journaling. I have not journaled. Well, there's a pile for you. Ooh, what is that from? Oh, I know what that's from. That's a little montage I wanted to do. I guess I have not journaled thus far okay we have hit we have fast forwarded to the wizarding world of harry potter but i mean like photos to die for and my claire bear is a harry potter geek both my girls are but my claire bear had the most magical hogwarts room not harry potter there weren't like harry potter pictures in there it was like she lived at hogwarts while she was growing up and in fact some of those pieces are still kind of there okay see i just want i want an eight by ten of that and I want an eight by 10 of that here. I want a big flap. So yeah, I need to finish journaling. Oh, this is kind of exciting. I did not know. But see, just beauty shots of the park and I, I don't regret doing them. I love them. Oh, mama got her, well, why can't I think what it's called? Pumpkin, it wasn't pumpkin juice. Oh, obviously, butterbeer. <laughs> I mean, I say that like I like it's a totally weird mistake. They do sell pumpkin juice, but no, we love the butter beer there. I, it is just so, I think this is when I was first going blonde. It's such a strange hair color for me. That is not a hair color that I am often because I usually have very dark hair like Claire. That's my natural hair color. This is when I'm starting to go gray and I'm starting to lighten my hair. So it's just kind of like a light brown. That was not a normal hair color for me. That was a transition to gray, which became a transition to platinum blonde, but like whatevs, midlife crisis much, loving it. So yeah, this is, I mean, it was, oh, it was such a beautiful park. 
that I just have pages upon pages of the park. And like I said, I don't regret it. I picked the perfect Project Life kit for it. Now, part of the reason for these cards is they are placeholders because I'd like my photos to all go the right direction. I never want you to have to turn your head to look at a photo in an album. Also, the small ones allow you to get little snippets of photos like that. And then they do leave space to journal and then filler cards. But I just picked like the perfect, I picked a travel, as you can see, I picked a travel kit. And now I do this all online. Now I still have a bazillion kits left. And so I still allow myself to order my pages from the Project Life app. They look just like this with your core card kits. You add in the pages look just like this. All of these pages are available, even the little ones. Yeah, you just make your pages on the app and they send them to you to your house and you don't have to cut photos or figure any of that out. So I do love that. Oh, my babies. Oh, my babies. I mean, they're still my babies, but oh, loved this. So yeah, this is what we actually did almost a whole flip through. Oh, there's some pumpkin juice. See, we have honey dukes and all of the, there's a Hogsmeade and a Diagon Alley at my family. <laughs> we really thought this was funny. I, I don't know. My husband really, <laughs> I just love that man. <laughs> we had such a good time. And my girls fell asleep in the middle of that hot park because they were so tired. Okay, so here's our Splash Mountain photo that needs to be put in earlier. Here we have some pressed pennies that need to find their home in one of the cards. So that is what I have to do. What we are doing today is getting all of the things that need printed with their little post-it notes. I'm getting those printed and popped in my Walgreens card so that they will be done for me next week while I put those in on a Photo Club Friday video and while I project lifed the rest of these into pages to go in album number two. I know, album number two. I can't keep a straight face with the hair. <laughs> yeah, this is, even myself knows this is excessive and doing it in the app does keep me from overprinting because you know what you're gonna need to complete your page. You're looking at your page. So this doesn't really happen anymore. Also, I just do, I am a little less picky. I, you know what, I don't, I don't have little kids anymore, so that's probably part of it. I, I do have grandkids though, and I, I, I had some restraint with the photos with my grandkids, although I took a bazillion, and we'll be project lifing those in a hot minute, and you'll get to see those. We just got back from Disney with the grandkids. But yeah, I'm going to pare these down and be right back and probably talk you through the process a couple of times while I have to pause to cry. <laughs> know thyself. <laughs> declutter pile of photos. I believe it ended up being a little more than half, which I am happy about it. Let's put that over there with the hair rodents and the um, obsolete cookbooks. Okay. And then this is what we kept. Yeah, I think that's down by over half. I'm pretty sure. And um, if I did them in order of page, so one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four. So nine pages. I just have nine pages left to be able to finish off album number two of our Disney World Make-A-Wish trip. Oh, I'm so excited. Nothing like a declutter challenge to kick it in the rear. Don't forget to let us know what we inspired you to tiny tidy today. And don't forget to hit the playlist. Don't forget to hit the playlist and watch all the other ladies. And we will see you here next week on Tiny Tidy Tuesday.